Hey, Calvary family, thanks for taking a few moments to read the update email and also to watch and listen to this quick video update. Attached to that email, you will find a policy statement from our leadership structure here at Calvary detailing the reasons that we have determined to move our worship inside. We had a great worship service inside last week. We had a lot of folks attend. Everyone was encouraged. The singing sounded great. What a blessing that was to my heart. And so we have prayed about this issue. We think it's important for us as leaders to clarify, to put into readable form uh, our philosophy and our policy, the reasons that we've made this decision of quiet and careful civil disobedience. The state of California still says we can't come inside. We believe that it's better and indeed it's safer for us to be inside and therefore we are pushing back uh, in a quiet way, in a way that is respectful we think, but nevertheless in a way that makes it clear that Jesus is Lord of the church. And as the church family, we cannot envision an ongoing circumstance uh, repeating the last six months where worship gatherings are truncated or mitigated. Uh, we believe that for the health of the church, we need to be together. We need to sing together. We need to be in proximity with one another. We don't believe outside worship will continue to afford us that um, opportunity. And also, we don't believe it's as safe as coming inside. And so this is a determination we've made. We don't think it's necessarily the determination that every other church ought to make. Uh, we've landed here by conscience, and we wanted to communicate to you why we're doing what we're doing. We pray for other churches, especially the other faithful churches in our city. Some of them are meeting inside. Some of them are still outside. Some of them are still only streaming. And so we pray for each of those leaders, each of those churches and their leadership as they make important decisions. We don't stand in judgment of them. We don't suggest they all follow us. We just believe uh, for our ministry, considering our facilities, considering our church family, considering the particular context of Santa Barbara and the weather, we have just come to decide that this is the decision that we will follow, even though the state of California says no. We do believe there's a pandemic we're not denying the seriousness of the contagion, and we are going to continue to be careful about that. And therefore, despite perhaps what some of you wish, we'll still insist on wearing masks when we sing. We're going to ask you if you get closer to one another than six feet that you wear a mask or that you back up. Uh, we think that we ought to take appropriate precautions. We're doing the same thing in children's ministries. We're doing the same thing even with our volunteers checking temperatures before the service. Uh, we're being very careful but even as we're being careful, we also believe that to be faithful, it's time for us together and together inside to use our facility in a way that facility was designed, in a way that is useful and faithful and efficient and, we think, careful for our attenders. So take a look at our policy. If you have questions for us, we would love to answer them. You're welcome to share that policy with others. We're not making a big broadcast. We're not taking a big public stand about our decision, but at the same time, we're not ashamed of it and we're not hiding it. The primary reason we came up with this policy was in the case that either the county or the health department or someone comes and asks us what we're doing, we wanna give them a concise statement of how we've made this decision. And so take a look at it. We'd love to hear your feedback. Far more important, we'd love you to pray for us. And we hope that you'll be here on Sunday morning. We hope that you tell, you'll tell you tell others that they're welcome to join us as we come together around the Word of God through the book of Judges. We're in chapter two this week. It's an overview from heaven about how the book of Judges is laid out and heaven's commentary on why what happened in the book of Judges happened. And so we'll begin in chapter uh, two, I think it's verse uh, six, and we'll go all the way into the first part of chapter three. God bless you. Uh, hope you're well. Let us know how we can pray for you. Look forward to seeing you inside on Sunday morning in the Lord's Day. God bless you.